Бля, короче, хуй, что происходит, блядь, ну был хлопок, блядь. И вот сейчас горит вот... Горит что-то. Да, ебало. горит что-то, что-то въебало, короче, на Грейсе, нахуй. Заебатый был хлопок. Блядь, а вода не сказать, что прям, блядь, теплая была. Бывало и теплее. А потому что ночью уже холодно. Бля, нихуя там дымит. Но это не самой Грейс, это где-то вот с краю. Ну вот сюда, ближе, короче. Да, не... Right now, the Ukrainian armed forces, consisting of about 500 people, are trying to break through in the area of Nekotayevka and the Shebakino checkpoint in the Belgorod region. The Ukrainian armed forces are trying to break through the border of the Belgorod region, the situation is difficult but under control, Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov said. According to Russian information, there is a battle going on near Nekotayevka, there, Ukrainian soldiers in several infantry fighting vehicles, numbering up to 200 people, landed at positions near the state border and tried to cross it, ours immediately covered them with artillery, after which the battle began. At the same time, about 300 Ukrainian armed forces soldiers went to the Shebakino checkpoint. There is a battle going on there now. Our border guards fought back, then helicopters arrived and fired at the enemy group. Today is exactly three weeks since the Ukrainian soldiers invaded the Kursk region. In the Belgorod region, the militants used the same tactics as in early August. Another Russian channel, shot, claimed that Ukrainian forces had been pushed back from Nekotayevka after suffering losses and claimed that no clashes had taken place at Shebakino. There have been multiple signs that Ukraine's incursion into Kursk Oblast is spilling over to Belgorod Oblast. A unit of the Ukrainian 252nd Battalion appeared to have entered the village of Poraz on August 10. Russia also claimed that Ukraine unsuccessfully attacked the Kalatilovka border checkpoint on August 12. Previously, Shebakino became a key flashpoint during a cross-border incursion carried out last year by anti-Kremlin militias fighting on Ukraine's side. Belgorod Oblast is lodged between Russia's Kursk and Voronezh regions and borders Ukraine's Sumy, Kharkiv, and Luhansk Oblasts. We control 1294 square km in Kursk region, which covers 100 settlements, 594 Russian armed forces soldiers captured, according to the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sersky. He said that about 30,000 occupiers were transferred to the Kursk direction. The enemy is withdrawing troops from other directions, but is increasing efforts in Pokrovsky. SYRSKY emphasized that one of the objectives of the Kursk operation was to distract Russian forces, including from the Pokrovsky and Kurakovsky directions. One of the objectives of the Kursk operation was precisely to divert significant enemy forces, primarily in the Pokrovsky and Kurakovsky directions, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine noted at a panel discussion within the framework of the forum Ukraine 2024. Independence he added that the situation in the Pokrovsk direction remains difficult. More than 50 combat clashes take place every day. The Russians actively use their advantage in manpower and military equipment, in particular artillery and aviation. 
Sersky noted that the main offensive actions are being conducted by new infantry groups. Russia is trying to knock out the section of the road Kostyantinivka Pokrovsk, by which it is trying to disrupt the logistical connection of the Ukrainian defense forces, he says. Sersky adds that the Russians are advancing in this direction at a very high cost. On average, Ukrainian soldiers neutralize 300 invaders every day in this direction, work is actively underway on the daily equipment of our positions and defense lines, the commander-in-chief notes. He adds that despite the difficult situation, Pokrovsk remains under the control of the Ukrainian military. The command of the defense forces is doing everything possible to stabilize the situation in this direction, Sersky assures.